Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the differences between Tomcat and Jetty. Now, this is actually a difficult conversation to have because there are so many similarities between Tomcat and Jetty. So they're both open source. Uh, they're both Java-based. They are both servlet engines, servlet containers. They are both production tested, so there are plenty of production environments using Tomcat, using Eclipse. They both enjoy massive community support, and they are widely adopted. So all over the world, people are using Tomcat as their application server. They're using Jetty as their application server, especially in microservices and, and small deployments, uh, uh, micro-based deployments. So those are some of the similarities. So what are the differences? Well, maybe one of the key differences is their affiliation. So Jetty is an Eclipse project. Tomcat is an Apache project, both open source organizations, but I guess you can see that as one difference. The license is slightly different. Both share the Apache 2.0 license. Jetty also is licensed under the Eclipse license. I don't think Tomcat shares that Eclipse license, but both open source licenses. Uh, the release date is a bit different. Jetty came out in 95, I believe, whereas Tomcat was closer to the turn of the century, 98, 99, and around there. Uh, I think Jetty has gone through a number of different incarnations, so I don't know if the original Jetty was written in Java. Well, certainly, it, Jetty came out in 95, and Java re was released in 96, so uh, unless they had some sort of uh, time-traveling spacecraft, I don't think Jetty could have uh, been written originally in Java, but um, they've moved closer and closer and closer to a full Java implementation, as has Tomcat. Um, so the release date is different. Market share is also a big one too. Uh, Tomcat, in surveys, I see Tomcat having anywhere as low as one third of the market and as high as 60% of the market. Um, and so I'm sure that the actual number is somewhere in between there. But uh, Tomcat is the most widely used Java application server in the market. Jetty, usually see around the 10% number. Um, so that's kind of the comparison there. So certainly more in production implementations of Tomcat than Jetty, um, but that does, that's not a reason neither here nor there to use one or the other. Uh, performance, Jetty has always taken an eye towards performance, specification support. Tomcat is, is you know, often the reference implementation for the servlet and JSP specification. I know originally they were, I'm not sure if they still are, um, but even then when a new specification comes out, Tomcat uh, works very, very hard to implement that specification. Um, Jetty prioritizes important features that their users want over chasing the latest specification. Um, and uh, so the last thing there is perception. And I think the perception is certainly that Jetty is the performance server to go with. If you need fast startup times, you need massive performance, go with Jetty. And I say perception because it's always tough to figure out you know, true performance metrics, and it's always difficult to to look at a performance metrics that's been published and then compare that to how you're going to be using your server. Um, and of course, in a lot of of benchmarks, a Jetty tends to do well, uh, and it tends to do better than Tomcat. But at the same time, is that because the the people who were working on the application were really performance minded, and they just happened to use Jetty because performance-minded people like Jetty, or is it because Jetty is so much faster? You know, I'll let that, uh, I'll allow the performance people to answer that question, but certainly the perception is that Jetty is faster uh, at runtime, has less of a footprint, and um, can start up faster than Tomcat, um, but neither of them are or sloths are also, they're both very, very good. I mentioned specification support. I found this quote over on the uh, Webtide, uh, uh, Webtide site in a post about the Jakarta naming. Um, and I thought this was interesting because, you know, I, I say, hey, Tomcat is really, really fast to support the specification. So, you know, people would think, okay, well, obviously Tomcat is better because they're supporting the latest spec. Um, so I saw this quote on Webtide, and it was about supporting Servlet 4.0. And Servlet 
4.0 didn't have you know a huge number of feature enhancements over 3.0. Um, and so Jetty hasn't been too fast to to, to support uh, Servlet 4.0. And here was the justification: it said, despite being two years late with Servlet 4.0, we have not received a single user request asking for Servlet 4 features or a release date. On the other hand, there's been interest from our users in more significant changes, some of which we have already started supporting in Jetty specific APIs, including JPMS integration, minimal startup times, and micro deployments of web functions. So, I think that's a, a pretty interesting attitude difference between the two servers you know one is hey there's a spec we need to implement it the other one is look there's a spec we'll implement it when our users start demanding that but our users have got a bunch of other demands first and and we're going to go after those um, before we actually chase the spec so i think that's that's pretty a pretty interesting comparison so uh, but obviously the question is which one do you use well, they're both solid choices. Uh, I've been a user of Spring for a long time, and Spring, when you do a deployment, I think the original Spring TC server was uh, uh, just an enhanced Tomcat server. Even now, when you're doing Spring Boot testing and deployment, the default server is Tomcat that Spring uses, although just a couple of Maven changes, and you can use Jetty. But, you know, right there, you know, you've got you know, a pretty major player in the Java server-side microservices environment you know, using Tomcat as their default. Um, so I do a lot of Spring development, and and kind of that pushes me in the Tomcat direction. Uh, you know, having said that, you, you look at Jenkins; they package Jetty with their um, standalone version of their continuous integration tool, and the CEO of of uh, CloudBees, who uh, and they do a lot of the maintenance on Jenkins. Um, he is the former CTO of JBoss, and so and I think JBoss embeds Tomcat inside of it. So if he's actually been part of the decision to use Jetty, I mean that speaks to me really loud about Jetty. Um, you know, so so for me, I've got a kind of history of Tomcat, so I choose Tomcat. But the more I read about Jetty and the more I work with Jetty, the more I realize that, you know, Jetty really does seem to have some major benefits, especially when it comes to modularity and performance. And so, you know, I start to think, you know, hey, maybe if I was doing a lot of microservices development or, or I was in situations where performance it really is a priority you know i think i'd i'd start leaning towards jetty and i think I'd, i would make that jetty decision so you know it's a tough decision you know which one performs best with your specific workload don't just look at benchmarks you know do your own benchmarks how is your server going to be used a lot, a lot of the people that i talk to and a lot of people i work with are enterprise customers and enterprise customers you know uh, a lot of times you know maybe insurance companies, governments, you know, they don't need the same performance that somebody on the trading floor of the NASDAQ stock exchange needs. So, you know, know your workload, know your demand, know how it's being used, and then benchmark it appropriately. Take a look at what kind of support you have on your team for Jetty or Tomcat. You know, what are your users most familiar with? And again, I hate thinking that something is popular or remains popular just because it is popular. You know, don't choose something just because it's popular. Choose something because it fits with your needs. Um, but, you know, um, how much support do you have in your organization? That's, that's a pragmatic thing you have to look at. Um, also, what other products do you have that integrate with it? Um, and do they support Tomcat or Jetty? Um, and also, you know, maybe philosophically, is your organization in line with what we see from the goals of the Jetty or Tomcat community, right? So Jetty seems to be really reactive. Hey, this is what our users want. This is what we're going to give them. And, you know, we're not going to chase the spec. As the other, On the other hand, Tomcat, hey, there's a spec out there. We want to be one of the first, if not the first, to, to implement it and provide a, a ready server instance for it. So, so, you know, philosophically, those are two pretty big contrasts between the two of them. Uh, but either way, you can't go wrong. I wrote an article on this, and you know, I kind of said, you know, regardless of which side you take in that Tomcat versus Jetty debate, you can't make a bad decision. Both are used widely, used in production environments. They have proven themselves. Uh, it's part of an endless bounty of open source riches that we have in this server-side Java world, and that really is the truth. So, 
Choose between the two, choose wisely, but quite frankly, I don't think you can go wrong with either. Anyways, my name's Cameron Kenzie. Go follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. Take a look at some of the stuff we're doing over on the server side. And finally, thanks for watching.